We are in the middle of a technical revolution in sports television, the advent of high definition. High definition television will very shortly become the norm for all major sports events in the United States. You saw high def at the Olympics this summer. You're watching it on HBO. We got everything under control. Listen, the one twos are working all day. Now change up, now double quick up on look, the jab. Coach, give me a quick look. Give me a quick look. Good. Listen, now change it up. Now double up on the jab. <laughs> double up on the jab, then shoot the right hand. And you're gonna catch him. You can lay him out this round. If you double up on the jab, you shoot the right hand. Let's take something. Do not sit there and let him keep punching on you. Take it out, take it out. You let the guy walk in too much. You gotta work the jab, okay? And give me some left hands to the body, please. You're not doing that, okay? You're not throwing nobody. Check it out. Star-studded crowd on hand here at Staples Center. Kobe and Vanessa Bryant, Mike Tyson. A variety of other big L.A. names all within range of ringside. Glenn Johnson and Antonio Tarver into the eighth round of their scheduled 12. The two men who are fighting for supremacy in the light heavyweight division after both having scored upset wins by knockout over Roy Jones earlier this year. We invited you to tune in, or I should say to log on to www.hbo.com slash boxing to ask a question of our on-air commentators. And here's one for you, Roy. If you were in Glenn Johnson's corner, and right now he's doing pretty well, what, a John, what advice would you pass along? Just tell him to keep on going forward, keep pressing, and uh, keep his hands up because a lot of times he walks in with his hands down. And if you were advising Antonio Tarver? Box and keep letting your hands go. And he don't look better. for the one big shot, no, right? He does, he does a lot better when he lets his punches go. Another hard left hand. Tarver has landed two solid left crosses in this round. Len Johnson keeps hacking away, but the more effective punches are landed by Tarver. And Johnson shows it when Tarver is able to connect. Good double left hook by Glenn Johnson. All effort tighter. He won't give you everything he got, that's for sure. This is a really fierce fight. One of the best light heavyweight fights I can recall. Well, that left hand may have hurt Johnson. Garver has done a great job here in the eighth round of, as Roy Jones says, just letting his hands go. And it's been a huge round for Antonio Tarver, who's landed hard punches and who has started the blood flowing again on Glenn Johnson's face. A minute to go in the round. Johnson continues to try to press the action. Antonio dances backward to get a little breather after throwing a lot of punches in the first two minutes of the round. Yeah, but the good thing is, all those punches take a lot out of Glenn Coffee Johnson, too, so Glenn needs a breather just as well, so he's not dealing with a fighter who's not tired. His opponent is just as tired as he is. It's been a fair amount of body punching in the fight, Roy. How do you feel tomorrow after a fight like this? Uh, sometimes you can be pretty sore. Your arms, the back of your head, everything. Not just tomorrow, for a couple of days. It reminds you that you're a fighter, huh? That's right. It reminds <laughs> you what you do for a living. Johnson chasing and trying to come on again. Listen for that bell. Johnson threw 96 punches in the seventh round. Expended a lot of energy there. That round seemed more to belong to Tarver. Gotta pick it up. Gotta pick it up. Is that working you a little bit? Well, an early visit from Santa Claus to tell us that round nine is upcoming. This is Nikki Zeno of New York in the Santa outfit. 3,000 miles away from her original hometown. Taking advantage of the showbiz spotlight available to her here in Los Angeles. You mean every round. Nikki Zeno. It's the truth. Stay low and then stand your ground and work the body. Keep the jab out there. Show them what you made of now. Okay. Looking around, I noticed that uh, virtually all of 
the boxes, the upper tiers, are absolutely filled. <laughs> those, you know, those people have been promised any number of events for the season, including hockey, and uh, without any hockey, uh, they're getting to see a real fight, not a hockey fight. <laughs> Chopping right hand lands for Glenn Johnson there. In round eight, Tarver was 31 out of 78 by CompuBox numbers. Johnson, 17 out of 67. 20 of Tarver's connects for power shots. He reaches out with the right hand there and lands two solid lefts in succession. And unfazed Glenn Johnson comes back, keeps throwing with his right hand. One of the questions about Tice, uh, excuse me, about, about Tarver going into this fight was after fighting Roy Jones twice. The biggest fights of his life, fights that he'd been looking forward to for so many years. Would he be ready for this kind of tough fight? Oh, he's ready for it. And, and he's shown something by being absolutely as good as he can be from what I could see, Roy. Yeah, he's shown, he gotta be ready because right now he still has to make money. This is the first time he got an opportunity to start making money. He can't lay short now because he has a family to feed. Well, he told that he had been in bankruptcy about a year ago. He's no longer in bankruptcy. And according to his advisors, another uh, fight or two like this one, and uh, he'll have an annuity for life. Boy, Antonio Tarver is taller than you are and has longer arms. Right. But he doesn't have the blinding speed that you used to bedevil John Ruiz when you moved up and fought a heavyweight. No. Could Tarver fight heavyweights? Yeah, he can fight heavyweights because of his height, mainly. And the southpaw thing would help him yeah, too, right? Yeah, would help him a whole lot. Most heavyweights not accustomed to fighting against southpaws. That's one thing Michael Moore used to his advantage when he won the heavyweight crown. So you're talking about making money. That may be the number one way to make money if he can find the niche that he wants. Assuming that he's able to hold on to light heavyweight identity tonight. He'll hold on to it as long as he keeps boxing and moving like he's doing. He's fighting a very small fight right about now. I don't see Glenn Johnson catching up with him because he's fighting very small. He's standing away from Glenn Johnson. That's the best thing to do. All right, I got it. Step back. Don't hold him. Step back. Break. Now go. In the last couple of rounds, Tarver seems to have become a little more secure defensively. And perhaps that's because... Johnson is tiring and can't flurry for his extended period of time now. Exactly. He's very tired. He's not throwing nearly as many punches as he was earlier. Uh, he said that after he won a title and made some money, the candy tasted sweeter. Right now he's tasting sour balls. <laughs> 77, 76. Got a one up. Give me a mouth. All right. Try a second, please. All right. You're good. You're good. Your dad are working. On your left hand. Yeah, let me uh, give, give him a second. I gotta get a little pressure on this, please. Mm -hmm. All right, listen, Glenn. You gotta work this guy. You gotta stay on him. Glenn is too close. They got him up, I think, one round. You hear me? Yeah. They got him up one round, kid. They're not gonna give it to us. You gotta start taking it to him. What round is this? Ten Check, this. Good. Check this. It's round ten, baby. Champion, championship rounds, baby. Antonio, listen to me. Hold your listen ground, to me. Man. Listen to me. Look at me. We need these. Stay on your ground, bite down, don't back up, don't Dress give up down nothing. The Dress down don't the pull defense up, don't pull up. and work. Okay. He see Tarver with a jab on the right, left hand, right over the right behind Glenn Johnson's straight left jab. Good counter punches. As long as he fights from outside like that, he'll shoot good. Roy, Tarver's trainer, Buddy McGirt, is gathering a huge reputation in the sport because of the successes he's enjoyed in the last couple of years. Usually with veteran fighters like Arturo Gatti, also Tarver. We'll talk more about it in a moment. Right now, let's see how Harold Letterman has the fight after nine rounds. Okay, Jim. 87, 84, six rounds to three, Antonio Tarver. Jim, he's very, very effective with that sharp left hand. Glenn Jackson, you know, he's the aggressor, but it's ineffective aggressiveness. He's getting in, he's just right not landing corner. the real right good good. shots that Tarver's landing. Tarver getting the cleaner, harder shots with the left hand. So, Tarver, six rounds to three. My take, Roy, is that McGirt succeeds not by trying to change the fighters he's training, but by encouraging them to do what they want to do and building their confidence. What's your take? Exactly. He builds confidence with them. He makes them feel comfortable. Makes them feel like they have a chance again. And it's easy to bring them back that way. He's been doing a wonderful job with it. 
You heard Buddy McGirt telling Antonio Tarver between rounds 9 and 10, you need these next three. Bite down. Yeah, Johnson's got away from throwing his right hand, too. That's been hurting him. Because Tarver looks a little tired right now. Yeah, he's taking a little break. He threw a lot of punches the last round. We often see fighters clearly taking a break, getting some rest. I don't think I've ever heard a trainer say to a fighter, go in there and get a rest in this next round. This is a decision the fighter always makes on his own. Right? Yeah, you have to because the trainer's not in there uh, fighting those rounds. He don't know how tired the fighter is. He's just telling them what to do. It's easy to tell a horse to run fast, but do you know how much energy it takes for him to run that fast? Johnson seems to sense that Tarver wants to take a rest here and is trying to take advantage of it. But Tarver has been effective in staying away and sticking out the bat just often enough to move Johnson off. Larry, we have a ringside request online. And uh, one of our viewers wants to know how you have the fight scored so far. I have uh, Tarver ahead seven rounds to two, but he's losing this round. So or at least far. he was <laughs> until that particular moment. That was a good combination by Tarver here. It has been mostly Johnson's round, and now he lands a hard right hand of his own to balance the left hand that Tarver landed. So while Buddy McGirt wanted Antonio Tarver to focus on winning the last three rounds in the fight, Tarver decided he wanted to take round off and get a little bit of a rest. And that will tighten things up on the scorecards. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now Ben Johnson's doing just what Tarver was doing earlier. He's trying to knock out with one punch. Surely thinking that he's behind in the fight. Stop the bell. But just as it was a bad idea for Tarver to try to knock out Johnson with one punch, it's probably a bad idea for Johnson to try to do that too. Just as bad. Listen to me. If you listen, we win the fight. If you listen. You gave me good work, baby. All we got to win this is two more rounds, one at a time. After you give me three of the best minutes in your life, you come back to me and I'll bring you back. All right, Glenn? You hear me? Nice and relaxed. All right. Cover him. Cover him up a little bit. Put a towel on him. He's cold. All right. Nice and relaxed. Put a towel on his back. Okay. Listen to me, Glenn. We need these last. Listen to me, champion. Listen to me. Go back to the jab. We, listen to me. We need meaningful jabs. Meaningful punches. Okay? You said Lock you work one of those towels when you're done here. Make okay. sure we're up. You said you work hard for this, baby. Give me that towel. You worked hard for this. Let's go. Take it. Tarver breathing hard in his corner, trying to maximize 